What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. It's going to be a little bit of a long one. There's uh, quite a bit to cover. So I'll be here in the background uh, letting you know what's going on. So let's get started. We are officially hitting the road. Stay tuned for updates. In Cambridge. Hello from the Iowa 80 truck stop. So haven't really filmed anything because nothing's really gone wrong. We've just been mobbing down the road. Just doing a preliminary check and everything looks fine. So we're gonna grab some food and hit the road again. Good morning from Lincoln, Nebraska. Yesterday we made it from Cambridge all the way to Lincoln. That's uh, 1,500 kilometers or about 900 miles. So that was a big road day. Just gonna reinstall my anti-theft device here, which I'm not gonna show you guys what it is. But if you know, you know. All right, we're just gonna check some fluids. Make sure everything's good and hit the road. We have coolant, power steering, oil slightly over full, not sure why, but we're not going to worry about that. Great. It's time to hit the road and we'll see you guys in Denver. Purrs like a kitten. We made it to Colorado. We happened to show up at Jake's shop right at the perfect time. You blew the tire! So our only complaint this entire trip was the exhaust fumes. So we just did that to fix it. She's gonna be loud.
here's some afterburn for your guys' enjoyment. It's so insane what this Lexus motor is putting up with. He's been running it like this for the past two years. eBay turbos, eBay wastegates, a little bit of a tune, and he just rips the thing. No mercy. And of course, while in Colorado, we have to have Bart come and do some pinstriping on the car. We literally just tell Bart, do whatever you want to the car and it's amazing every time. What's going on, YouTube? We're here at Bandemir Speedway, one of the last test and tunes this track is gonna have. So we have to come out and see it. We're gonna go check out the drag racing, might uh, film a little bit of that and show you guys. So we were walking around while Johnny was in line. Uh, the very first uh, drag race clip that you guys are gonna see is Johnny's car. It's uh, quite comical. We were taking bets on how long it was gonna take to go down the track. I think it's gonna be the slowest car of the night. I'm gonna laugh so hard at it. Okay, 20 bucks. <laughs> Here's some burnout action. That was very tame. It hooked a little too hard. <laughs> Thank you.
Good morning. We're about to hit the road for New Mexico. That's our next stop, but before we do... Need to tighten that bumper back up. That's come loose over all the bumps. There we go. Can't say I blame the bumper for coming loose. That, uh, it's been a lot of rough roads, but that's all right. We're gonna hit the road for Roswell, New Mexico now, and we'll check in when we get there. Roswell was pretty cool. If you guys haven't been, I definitely recommend. We're somewhere just outside Roswell and uh, we hit some weather. We're on our way to Tucson, Arizona and we're not going to let a little bit of rain ruin our trip. Got some dust storms up ahead. There's something just therapeutic about sitting behind the windshield and looking at this kind of scenery. It's one of the favorite things about uh, road trips for me. Duct tape drags. So I'm not gonna lie, I totally did not record enough stuff at the duct tape drags. All right, so we're here at the duct tape drags and I was just showing someone the car and I happened to notice all the rubber on the fender here. I looked down and it seems something has moved and the AC delete pulley is rubbing on the frame. So we're gonna try and find a grinder really quick, notch that out for now, and I can uh, weld a piece back in once we get home, but we just need to make some room. All right, so it's currently like 2 p.m. Matt here, he broke something, but not really. Pulley right here, rubbing against the frame rail. So we scrounged up a cutoff wheel and something to use the cutoff wheel on from two different people. That's roadkill. Yep. And uh, now he's gonna chop it up and get to work.
right, so we have clearance of frame to pulley. We're gonna call that good for now and we'll clean that up later. We totally ditched the event after about five o'clock and uh, decided to go into downtown Tucson. So some of us decided that uh, it'd be nice to go out in the desert and watch the sunrise the next morning. was even able to get a little bit of drone footage. And if you're ever going through Hatch, New Mexico, these next couple places you definitely gotta check out. We went to our favorite spot to eat, Sparky's in Hatch, New Mexico. The food is amazing. Completely worth the stop, and they got a lot of cool stuff too.
All right, so we decided to go check out Pikes Peak. And we didn't know this, but at the base of Pikes Peak, there's a little place called Santa's Village. So we went and checked that out first. Some of the views were pretty spectacular here. This is right at the reservoir.
This is where the trek up Pikes Peak started to get pretty real. Started to really hit some elevation. Uh, driving right along cliff sides, driving into the clouds. It, uh, it was pretty wild to be honest. It's unlike anything I've ever uh, done before. And we're gonna have to go back because we didn't actually make it all the way to the top, unfortunately. And you guys are about to see why. This was literally the scariest part of the entire trip. That was a bad place for the car to break down. And we're starting to make our way back down now. And after that, the car didn't act up at all. We made it all the way to Jake's uh, shop, found the blown fuse, replaced it, and the car has been fine ever since. We made it all the way back home, with no problems. So, really can't complain about that. One fuse. It just sucks that we didn't make it all the way to the top.
And after that, there really wasn't much else. We headed home, had no problems. Well, if you guys made it this far in the video, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I would uh, definitely love to do more of these uh, trip videos. It's uh, really fun and something different than working on a car at the shop. So if you guys liked it or have uh, different suggestions for some of the stuff you've seen on the channel so far, please drop that in the comments. Thanks for watching.